Hello everyone, welcome to episode 22 of the D-Heart House podcast. Hey guys, it's Saturday, November 18th. It's a sunny day, which is perfect for podcasting. It's about 56 degrees outside and a little bit windy. So I can hear wind chimes and the trees rattling and it just seems like a really nice fall day. Yeah, so today is Saturday, and I spoke with you guys last Sunday, so it's been a little less than a week, and I'm really happy to see you guys again. So if you're a new viewer, thank you so much for tuning in, and if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. Uh, It's really nice to see you guys again, like I said. (laughs) So, yeah, this is my knitting podcast. I am the shop owner for D Heart House Creations, which is on Etsy, where I sell my handmade bags and stitch markers, and it's mostly bags right now. (laughs) Uh, And I love to knit and crochet and sew and all kinds of hobbies. So this podcast is about those things I'm working on. And since I'm just, you know, giving you an overview anyway, I'll tell you I'm coming to you from Big Spring, Texas. And I'm originally from Michigan. So I, you know, learned to knit when I was about 13 and when I was up in Michigan when it made a little more sense to be knitting. Um, but You know, honestly, you'd be surprised to hear about the number of people who knit in Texas. So while it is mostly hot here, (laughs) uh, it's not always hot. It does get cool and it does snow and freeze in parts of Texas. So uh, yeah, people do knit here, FYI. (laughs) Uh, Anyway, so... Yeah, first thing, um, the knit along. So the Canuck Socks knit along is going on for the month of November. And yeah, we have a few participants. Yay, thank you. So basically, just knit a pair of Canuck Socks in the month of November. It is a free pattern on Ravelry, the Canuck Socks pattern. Uh, It's one of my patterns that I designed, and you can use any yarn that you want. I have no weight or yardage requirements, so just knit a pair of Canuck socks, post a picture in the FO thread, and be entered in for a chance to win a bag. So the winner of the knit along will be chosen randomly out of the finished objects thread or the FO thread and that winner will get to choose a sock size bag or a medium size bag out of my Etsy shop and I will send that along to the winner. So I'm working hard to get lots of designs up in the shop for sock size bags so that the winner has lots of things to choose from. So the first thing I'm... Oh, yes, before I move into shop update. For the knit along, yes, there's a finished objects thread. Please only post a picture of your finished object there. There is also a chatter thread if you guys have any questions or want to post progress pictures or whatever, okay? Um, So keep the chatter in the chatter thread and the FO thread just for finished objects. So that knit along is going through the month of November, and I know y'all have probably have some Christmas knitting going on, so the plan is to cut off the knit along um, at the end of November. So I'll close the thread on December 1st. You have an extra day to post pictures. 
I don't really want the knit along to go into December just because I don't want to perhaps interfere with anyone's Christmas knitting. Uh, however, I'm toying with the idea of extending the deadline. So let me know what you think. Post in the chatter thread. Do you want the knit along to end at the end of November? Uh, or do you feel like you need more time to knit your Canuck socks? Or maybe your Canuck socks are a Christmas gift. Um, I'm, I'm cool with pushing the deadline back if you guys want to do that. So let me know in the chatter thread, do you like the cutoff at the end of November? Or would you rather see it cut off at the end of December? Cool. Uh, yeah, so D Heart House Creations on Etsy is my shop. And uh, first thing, there is a coupon code for you, my viewers. Uh, you can get 15% off in my shop until the end of the year. And the code is here on the screen. I believe it's DHeart Podcast 15. I think. Anyway, the code's on the screen. And. Uh, like I said, it gets you 15% off in the shop until the end of the year. So December 31st, uh, the coupon will expire. So, yeah. And I'm in Texas, so that'll be central time. Okay. Yeah, so I have something new for the shop. And uh, so I have another sock size bag, another medium size bag. And it's another Christmas themed bag, and it is polar bears. <laughs> I think it's so cute. So, uh, yeah, polar bear bag. It has a red background, white polar bears, and they're wearing scarves and hats, and some of them have birds on their back, and they're just too cute. Yep. And Christmas lights. Oh my god, the Christmas lights. Yep. Okay, so the polar bear bag, and I have, I went with the snowflake interior that isn't gold, it's just white on white. It's really subtle, and you know, if you look from far away, it just looks white. But when you get close, you can see the snowflakes, and I think that's kind of cute. So, yeah, so I have two of these up in the shop, and, uh, I'm going to start making some non-Christmas themed bags to go along with the Christmas themed bags. So maybe you're thinking about uh, gifts for people um, and they may not want Christmas themed bags. Uh, anyway, so yeah, this is new to the shop this week. So check it out. And like I said, there's the coupon code so you can get 15% off your total order until the end of the year. So yeah. Okay, so I am drinking tea out of my knitting mug and it's a cinnamon tea and it's really good. I picked up this tea at Walmart and I just want to show you the tin because, okay, so first of all, it comes in a tin. Which, I don't know, I buy tea in cardboard boxes. So when I saw the tea, the tin, I was like, oh yeah, we gotta try this. And it, yeah, it's really good. Uh, and the tin is adorable, so. This is what I'm drinking, Hot Cinnamon Sunset. And yeah, orange, clove, cinnamon, it's, it's really good, so. And I'll have a tin afterward to put random things in. Okay. So, I don't have a lot of knitting to show you guys. It's, uh, yeah, I don't have a lot of knitting to show you. However, I have a lot of, um, new stuff to show you. I, I kind of went shopping, like you wouldn't believe shopping. So yeah, first of all, I want to share with you this shirt because this shirt is new. I picked this up yesterday. Uh, 
Mary and I went shopping at the mall, so we stopped into Old Navy and I picked up this shirt. And it's just a button down shirt. And I don't know if you can see. Yeah. The llamas or alpacas or whatever these are. I really need to look up the difference between a llama and an alpaca, but oh my god. So they're all over the shirt. <laughs> Which I think is pretty great. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm going to be wearing my, my llamas to work with me. Yep. Adorable. Adorable. So, Old Navy, if you are wondering, I just... They were having a sale. Like a pre-Black Friday sale. So, I got this at 40% off. And I was like, heck yeah. So that's my non-yarn purchase, yet yarn related. <laughs> anyway, it's, it's adorable. I love this shirt. So, okay, I have been knitting somewhat though. I mean, you were watching me. I am knitting on something. Let me finish this needle. It's not really a row because I'm knitting in the round um, and I'm knitting magic loop so I just need to get to the end of the needle here and yeah this is a new cast on I'm making mittens because it is starting to get chilly here the while we are having warm days and cool days the average temperature overall is is going down so eventually it's going to be cold here so and we need mittens i have not made us any mittens i've made us hats and scarves but not mittens so yeah you know the thumb increases here on the side so i'm knitting this out of knit picks palette in the stellar heather colorway Uh, and this is 100% Peruvian Highland wool, so it's um, grabbier than merino, and I like it. I really want to do a, a colorwork mitten, but I figured since I'm sort of creating a pattern, because I'm loving doing that, uh, I figured I would just make a plain one, and I think Michael would really like a plain uh pair of mittens anyway rather than something with a design so the intention is that these will be for him and that works out because it looks like they might be a little big on me so then when I go to make my pair I'll just decrease the number of stitches but yeah the cuff is great I just did a one by one rib and I like my mittens to be kind of long so that you know my coat will go over the cuff and there won't be that little gap with cold air coming in because I used to hate where um, like you know you lift your arm up or something and then your coat comes down and then you have this strip of your arm that's exposed to the cold and it's not very fun so whatever um, yeah I'm having fun with it and I like the color I think Michael will like the color too it's mostly black, but it has a little bit of red tones to it. And I also like that it's more of a woolly wool. You know, it's not as soft as merino. So I, I, I'm loving it so far. I'm having fun. So yeah, mittens. And hopefully these will just be really quick. So I've done, I mean, I did this in a week. Whatever. Yeah, so I'm knitting mittens and, well, a mitten. And I'm also knitting socks. So last time I showed you um, another design of mine. Uh, I wasn't very far last time I showed these to you, so I'm starting to go down the leg in the color work. And of course, you know, color work takes longer than just <laughs> knitting without color work, <laughs> right? Um, 
but yeah, I'm, I'm loving these socks. So far my instructions are easy to follow, so that's good. Uh, here's the finished first sock. So, yeah, it's getting there. So I have a thread open in the D Heart House podcast group. I probably should have mentioned this earlier with the knit along. Join the D Heart House podcast group. You have to be a member to win. Uh, but also I have a thread open calling for test knitters for these socks. Uh, so I am going to be typing up the pattern and sending that out soon. So, uh, yeah, be checking your Ravelry inbox because I'm going to be sending my test knitters this pattern soon. Uh, and of course, as a test knitter with the socks, you only really need to knit one sock because uh, the second one should be the same, hypothetically. Uh, but, you know, by all means, knit yourself a pair of socks because most people have two feet. Okay, so I'm going to um, get that out to my test knitter soon, yay! And if you'd like to be a test knitter, I'm still taking um, a few more, so reply in the test knitter thread just that you'd like to be a test knitter, so yeah. Cool. So, yeah, that's it for knitting. I mean, my works in progress are back here on the on the couch in my bags, and I haven't I haven't touched them. Um, you know, Michael's sweater. I need to tear out the sleeve, and I just haven't done that yet. Um, I need to knit the second sock for my witch's brew socks, and I still have my Stephen West shawl going. Uh, but I really want to get the sock pattern um, tested and then released for real so uh, my focus is kind of here and also on getting bags in the shop because oh my gosh it's so fun especially with the Christmas fabric I just I love Christmas we're starting to put up our decorations and it's just you know I, l I love that time of year so many 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 good memories for me uh, yeah, so like I said, I went shopping. So first, um, on uh, Knit Picks, they were having a sale, so I got a few things. Uh, I mean, they, they're they still having a sale, uh, you know, with the, the fall and Black Friday and the daily deals kind of thing. So uh, if you're not checking out knitpicks.com, you really should be because... The yarn is super affordable already, and then to get it on sale is just like a t total bonus. Um, and it's just, it's really good yarn, so if you're not already checking it out, you should be. Uh, so I picked up some Tweety things uh, to make gorgeous uh, hats and whatever. I'm mostly thinking hats. Um, yeah, so this is Knit Pick City Tweed in uh, DK Way, and this color is Porpoise, and it's a really nice soft blue, and I'm thinking of this for Michael, hat for Michael. Uh, yeah, a really nice soft blue. And then I got the same thing in Plum Wine. For me, and it's coming off more purple on screen uh, than in purpose, than in purpose, than in person. <laughs> it's more of a a rosy color. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah. So that one for me, and. Uh, teal. So this is jacquard, but it's like a teal blue. And lemon curd. Which, yeah, lemony, mustardy color. Yeah. 
I'm so excited. Um, yeah, so I don't know how much it's going to take to make a hat, so I got two of each. And if it means I can make lots of hats, then that's cool too, because I have, you know, family. Or just more for me. Ah, no. <laughs> yeah, so I got that, and that's pretty much it. Uh, and then, <laughs> I think I told you guys last time that I was going to go shopping at the local yarn shop in Midland, which is like 30, 45 minutes away, depending on traffic. And it's the closest yarn shop to where I'm living. And turns out they're closing down. So they were having a 75% off closing sale and I went nuts. I went nuts, but you know what? That's what you do when your yarn shop is closing and you pretty much get yarn for free. So first I'm gonna show you the bag that they gave me. Yeah, a trash bag, which I said, well, we're pretty much cleaning yarn anyway, so. It makes sense. <sighs> yeah, trash bag. So, all right. Of course I'm there with my calculator, like taking the 75% off and going, okay, so now how much is this yarn? Now how much is this yarn? To decide whether or not to get it. Otherwise I just would have went whoosh. Okay, that's, that's everything. Um, yeah, so I got some I'll just go through this kind of quickly. Uh, Schopel. Schopel yarn. Okay, and it's single discs. So there's two discs that are, you know, tied together. And it's, you know, fingering weight yarn. And I just plan on making some socks out of this or maybe using it in a shawl. I mean, I don't know, it's not like I have plans for all of this yarn. <laughs> but it's blue, green, and yellow. And yeah, it's pretty cool. It's, they have a picture in here of what it would, you know, it'll look like knit up. It's kind of psychedelic. Yeah. So we'll see. Um, I don't know, I'm not really a psychedelic person, but maybe it would look really cool. Yeah, so that was one. Um, the first thing I went for was the linen because if you guys know, linen is not a cheap uh, yarn. Uh, so Angela from the Angela Knits podcast in Houston knit this really beautiful linen top. I think she has a couple of them now and they're gorgeous and they're perfect for wearing in the summer because it breathes really well plus it was a nice lacy pattern and I just I really want to do something similar uh, so <laughs> uh, at 75% off you bet I'm gonna buy a sweater quantity of linen so yeah so I got uh, a really nice gray. There was another color I was considering, but she only had two skein, two, two hanks of it. That was not gonna be enough. So I went for the gray. And I love it. I think it's gonna go so well with so many things, including this. <laughs> Whatever. Um, yeah, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Yeah, so this is uh, Shibui, I don't know, Shibui, sure, uh, the color is graphite, mm -hmm. and yeah, made in Italy, ooh, that's fun. So yeah, it's 100% linen. 246 yards in each pink. 
Uh, so I got six of them, and I hope that's enough, because that was all she had. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll find a pattern that will work for this, and yeah, we'll make it happen. I'm excited. Michael just came out. Uh, yeah. Then, oh my gosh, I saw this up on the wall. And it's just this, okay. It looks more emerald on the screen, but it's more, it's more green in person. Like, not a dark green, but a lighter green, medium green. Very Christmassy, I guess. But it's tweed. Oh my gosh. I wonder. Nope. Okay. Uh, yeah. So this is Queensland Collection Rustic Tweed. It's so pretty. But yeah, it's, uh, looks like a worsted weight. Um, 65% wool, 25% alpaca, 7% acrylic, 3% viscose. Okay. Uh, yeah. And the color is 109 that's descriptive. So I got all of the ones she had, which was four skeins. Yep. So in each, in each hank here is uh, 318 yards. How many grams is that? 100 grams. 100 grams, 318 yards. Is that worst of weight? Or is that more like a sport? I don't know. It looks worsted to me. Anyway. Maybe it's enough for a sweater. Or at least a cropped one to like wear over a dress. I hope so. 1200, 1200 yards? Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited. It's super pretty. Uh, yeah, the sock yarn was pretty much gone. I bet, I bet my friends went and cleaned her out before I got there uh, yesterday, so I noticed an entire rack was missing that I knew had sock yarn on it, so oh well. But there was some there, so I got uh, Broco Socks Metallic, and it's like this harvesty looking uh, color combination with orange and sage and brown. So this, I think this will be pretty cool. Uh, 100 grams, and it's sparkly. So I picked that up. She had lots of uh, Regia and the online sock, uh, but it was kind of expensive. Like, not to criticize, the, the woman was closing her store, so I wasn't gonna go up and ask her why something like this was $30, but yeah, it just, I left it there <laughs> because uh, I like the fingering weight socks more than the sport weight socks, so anyway, they were just whatever. Um, yeah, I also got some Broco comfort socks, so this is interesting. So. The one I just showed you is, what a strange number, 73% super wash wool, 25% nylon, and 2% other fiber, which is confusing. What is other fiber, hmm? That's weird. The metallic stuff, like why aren't we calling it Stellina or whatever it is. Uh, so then I also got some Barocco, this is Comfort Sock. And it's nylon and acrylic, 50-50. But I really like the navy blue. And I don't know, we're just gonna try this out, huh? But look at the strand. It's not just like a four ply yarn. It's like this chained, I'm trying to get it to focus, sorry. Um, 
No. It's like this chained strand. Can you see? It's not it's not just a twisted ply kind of thing. It's like a chain chain linked kind of thing. Here we go. See it? Isn't that something? So, I don't know. Probably for Michael. Just a nice plain blue pair of socks. Uh, I have zero. Um, okay, well now I can't say that, but I had <laughs> uh, no lace weight yarn, so I picked up some lace weight yarn and I got it in this nice soft powder blue color. It's like a bluish gray. So, oh gosh, yeah. So it's lace weight, it is scrumptious lace. Yep. And it's silk and merino. Yeah, it feels wonderful. This is 100 grams of lace weight yarn, so it's a thousand yards, 1,093. thousand ninety three Wow and the color is water which is an appropriate name yep it's just solid it's not tonal but I think whatever lacy pattern I do in this will look really nice and be easy to read so yep uh, oh Mary picked out something really interesting she wants a hat or something out of this Okay, I've never, I've never knit or crocheted with, with this kind of uh, material, so let me just pull one of the strands out. Uh, so it seems really feathery. Yeah, so it's just, it's just a strand with a bunch of, it looks like hairs coming off it, but it's not. It's 100% nylon, so yeah. It should be interesting to work with, uh, and it's super soft, and she said it looked like mink, so she wants me to make her something up. We'll figure out a hat or something. Oh my gosh. But it's like a black, green, brown color, like tonal. Yeah. <laughs> fun and then I just got a bunch of um, Rowan uh, DK wool in different colors because uh, I'm uh, really digging the color work stuff so I need some solids to do color work with so this is uh, a gray color so do they have color names looks like that's a no okay so this is a nice uh, charcoal gray color uh, then we've got a lighter gray and then a nice um, soft navy color and so I was gonna do some kind of color work with these for Michael so blue gray and then a darker gray Maybe they're not contrasty enough for color work. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, maybe I'll just do a striped hat or something. But, yeah. And then I got some more girly colors. So we've got, like, a, um, I should look up more color names. Like, get my crayons out. But <laughs> I guess burnt sienna and just natural and then this nice pink corally color pink coral kind of color yep yeah so yeah and they're all just the Rowan DK so and that wraps up my mountain 
I have an extra garbage bag now. That's cool. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to be putting these on the shelves. I did a little cleaning in here, so I keep changing the layout. I've decided to put all of my shelves on that side of the room, so we've got all of my worsted weight acrylic yarn in here. We have the wools and bags, if you can see my bags right there. Uh, I had those lower shelves filled with fabric and I decided I wanted to put the fabric in a container um, just because it was starting to get really packed in there and I couldn't really see everything that I had so I have it in a container now um, so all I have to do is open up the container and then they're all right there in front of me just so uh, yeah well <laughs> So now that I have all that space, I need pff, mountains of yarn to put in there. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I move my shelves over here. It needs to be still a bit organized, so I apologize. It's not completely what I want to be presenting to you, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, we're going to be having um, family over at some point, so... Um, and this serves as one of our guest rooms, so I needed to rearrange it a little bit to make... Um, this couch turns into a bed and so I needed to make the room a little more accessible for when the couch becomes a bed uh, so that, that whoever stays here can still walk around the room a little bit uh, yeah and hopefully they won't feel like they're being smothered by yarn I mean if they do I can't help it it's you are smothered by yarn but anyway Yeah, so I'm going to put all this stuff away and have lots of fun doing it. And I'm going to type up the uh, Colorwork sock pattern and send out to test knitters. And yeah, shop update. I'm going to do some more sewing. <laughs> We're gonna do some cleaning and planning for the holidays because next week is Thanksgiving, which I won't have an episode next week because of the holiday. We're going to be visiting family. So two weeks from now, you should be hearing from me. And yeah, that pretty much wraps up the knitting. So if that's all you were here for, thanks for coming. Um, and I'll see you guys in two weeks. Happy knitting. And if you want to stick around for um, my other hobbies, here we go. Uh, yeah, I'm going to start running. Yay! In fact, today I want to run a quarter mile, which is not very far, but starting over, got to start slow, right? I've taken like at least a month off from running, so yeah. Uh, Sorry, I hear walking. Uh, yeah, I'm... Oh, I found this really uh, interesting book on Kindle. Uh, what's, it, what's it called? Let me, let me look this up. Um, anyway, so I'm a... Yes, Amazon Kindle. So I'm a math instructor at a community college and I have my master's degree in mathematics and I'm a total nerd. I love Star Wars and sciencey things and whatever. Um, so I was looking on Amazon Kindle. Oh no, it wasn't on Amazon Kindle. It was in Goodreads. That's where I found it. Sorry. I was perusing um, all my book apps last night and I found this interesting book. Let me see. Okay, want to read. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not organized for this blah 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 section. Okay, so the book is called What If? Serious Scientific Answers to Absurd Hypothetical Questions. Okay, I read the re reviews and they're hilarious. Um, but yeah, the guy who runs the website XKCD, which is like a webcomic of nerdy topics like science and math and 
many things. Um, apparently he wrote this book because he got asked a lot of hypothetical questions. And uh, he actually researches them. Like, yeah, what if that happened? Uh, and I just find that really fun. And he made a book out of it. And the reviews are, are pretty funny because they said, you know, basically if you're a math or science person, you're not going to want to put this book down. So I have it in my queue. I want to read it. Uh, I will buy it. <laughs> so I'm excited um, for that. I am currently reading uh, the second book of the Harry Potter series and my goal is to finish that this year because my goal this year was to read three books and this is my third book. Uh, well. I'm also reading Game of Thrones book five, yeah, book five, uh, but that's going to take me forever to finish, <laughs> so I'll finish that next year. For now, I'll finish Harry Potter book two, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I like to read, but it doesn't happen as often as I'd like, so I have really low expectations for my reading. Uh, yeah. But I do, I love reading, um, real books. You know, the ones you hold and you turn the page and everything. It's just, it's a whole experience. However, reading on the tablet is something I also enjoy because it's very easy to do on the treadmill. <laughs> Especially since you can uh, make the font bigger on a tablet, which also makes it easier to read while running on the treadmill. So, yeah. And I just realized <laughs> all of the yarn I put on top of my knitting, I was going to pull out my knitting, and it's under the mountain of yarn, so whatever. Yeah, so I'm reading, I, I kind of read a little bit before bed each night, and uh, Harry Potter's perfect for that because it's such a light and easy uh, read, plus I've seen most of the movie so I kind of know what's going to happen already, it's just a few of the details are, um, you know, weren't included in the movie, so it's always nice to have those little surprises. Uh, things like uh, Hagrid Knits which I didn't know. I didn't catch that from the movies. Uh, just little things like that. I think they're adorable. Uh, yeah, so running I haven't done any. Um, I'm going to start getting back into that again. Um, reading, just chugging along, knitting and sewing. <sighs> yeah, like I said, we're going to be uh, putting up more Christmas decorations and that's just really fun. Uh, next week is Thanksgiving so we're planning on driving to San Antonio to visit Michael's brother and his family, have Thanksgiving dinner. There was talk of camping so we'll see what happens there. Uh, it is... I would not go camping at this time if I lived in Michigan or Montana still because it would be crazy cold. However, down here it's cold but not crazy cold. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, we may or may not go camping next weekend. And either way, I'll have videos and pictures to share with you guys. So I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say goodbye. I hope that everyone has a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday in the States. And um, I'll see you guys in two weeks. Happy knitting, happy reading, happy running. Bye, guys. Stop recording.